caramel. You will need one cup of granulated sugar and a half cup of water. You put the sugar in the pot with the water. You won't need an instrument to stir this at all. If you use a utensil to stir the caramel, you will of course spoil the sugar. At first you will obtain a syrup. This is a syrup that is clarifying slightly. As you see it begins to boil. Here you can see it's beginning to boil, but the sugar is, the sugar is pure because uh, there's no foam on top. What is happening now is that you've put in the sugar and you've put in the water, and now the water is evaporating. You see the steam evaporating. Of course, you don't need to use too much water because the more water you use, the longer it will take to evaporate. Now the density of the sugar must be reduced to obtain a nice coloration of the sugar, which is what we're trying to achieve. There, you can see the color. It's starting to darken. It's now a very light golden color. And now it will darken very quickly. You can see that we don't need any utensils to stir the caramel. It, it boils on its own, it mixes on its own, no problem. Now you can begin to smell it. And so now, a little bit more. Now it's almost done. It's done to my taste. Voila. It's done. We'll take it off the heat. There we go. See? Look at the caramel. There. You can use it now, of course, to put into molds or to use in different recipes. Your caramel is finished.